everybody well good morning this is it you're here it's day one let me I'll do what I need to do behind the scenes not that I'm going to be doing this for too much longer um, good morning good morning good morning this is day one on how to become a time warrior notice how I said time warrior and not a time warrior 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 they are such such close words a warrior and a warrior and how many of you would like to become a time warrior or just a warrior in your life because to become a warrior it takes work it takes dedication it takes uh, just as they used to say on a tv program called the record breakers it's the record breakers if you want to be the tallest the smallest the fattest or the thinnest you know you want to be a record breaker how many of you want to break some records anyone here want to break some records anyone here want to break some records uh, i think we all do i think we all want to break the mold uh, of that what we were molded how many of you like the idea of doing that how many of you like the idea of setting your own personal bests i don't know what a personal best would look like in your world um but we have to ask ourselves the question what what lengths are we prepared to go in order for us to be the very best that we can be but one more place to share this and uh then you're going to get the best of me because this is one of the things we're going to be looking at th at this week is helping you uh manage your time more effectively because most of us don't do that particularly well feel free to share this you never know how many people will see this because you've shared it and it might make a difference to someone else's life uh, so here we go just one more place and we're done and, and then we can do what we need to do right sharing this in the my365 weight loss challenge private group so they can also also see this as well. Uh, make sure you join me tonight. We have a special My365 broadcast at uh, 7 p.m. tonight, and we'll be doing some other ones this week because this is a monumentous week. Many of you know I've been doing a live broadcast now for two years, uh, every day pretty much for free at 7 o'clock, and this week we close the doors uh, of what we're doing here, but we open the doors for all of you to become a My365 Elite member. What does that mean? It means you become elite, you become a superhero in your own life, uh, and we help you just achieve so much more than what you're achieving here. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So let's talk about uh, today. Let's talk about this week. What is this week all about? This week is all about how you can use your time more effectively what is the most valuable thing that you own some people would say it's your time i wouldn't say it was your time i'd say it was your space the most valuable thing you own is your space think about it if i stuck you on the london underground or put you around thousands and thousands of thousands of people or a pop concert and you were kind of caught in the middle and you wanted to go to the toilet um what would you realize was the most valuable thing that you owned how many of you would go i just i need some space i need some space your space is the most valuable thing that you own and we're going to help you this week manage your space through managing your time through you becoming a time warrior so that you can eliminate procrastination eliminate people pleasing eliminate self-doubt eliminate over commitment eliminate making broken promises and you can eliminate chaos that's what we're going to be looking at this week um, but only up till Thursday because Friday it's just elite, but you have the opportunity to become elite. Click on the link in this post. Go and find out what elite is all about. Those of you that are elite, tell everyone here why maybe they should go elite. But do that quickly because if you don't do it quickly and I'm talking, you won't listen because uh, most people don't listen because they're doing something else while they're listening. Right? You see, when we look at time, we have a choice, right? Where are you? When we ever do a week on any particular subject, and this week is about effective strategies, help me become a time warrior so that you can take your sword, your sword, imagine you've got a sword in your hand. Everyone imagine a sword. Everyone hold their sword. Excalibur. You can take your sword to stop yourself going too far into the future. Yes? Taking my sword. I'm in the future. I'm coming back to today. Um, you can take your sword to the future and you can take your sword 
to experiences and in situations where you just think, I'm not here anymore. See, where are you right now? We live in a world that says you can't be here. Look, you can't be here. You have to be in the future. You have to be in the future. You can't be here now. There's no, you, no, 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 no. Don't be here now. Don't be happy in the moment. Because if you were happy in the moment, you probably realize that you don't need half of the stuff that you've actually accumulated. To be happy in the moment is where life really is, right? But it's more and more challenging to do that. And we have to work on that. And that's what we're going to be doing this week. So right now, you can be in one of three places. Guess where are those three places? But Pete, I'm here. No, you're not. Are you really here? How many of you are doing something else? You're actually watching something else or you're thinking about something. You're not really here. Or are you really here? Are you really here? Because if you're really here, you, you, you know that you're here. You can be in the future. And this is where fear exists. Fear exists because we create imagery of the future. We think about the future to the point where it scares us, to the point where we just think, well, I won't, I won't do anything. And this is something, again, we'll be looking at this week. But for the first instant, imagine a sword in your hand and realize that when you're thinking too far about the future and you're worrying yourself to put a sword to the future and come back to today. Because if you want to be here today, this is where it takes a little bit of practice. It takes a little bit. You always knew how to do it. You, you know how to do it, right? Just imagine how much more you could get done if you realized when your mind was going into a place that you didn't want it to go. Just imagine if you could focus your attention on something to the exclusion of everything else. Just imagine how much more you'd get done. But we all know that our attention is being taken away from us, stimulated by what's going on outside of us, but also us doing that to ourselves. So if you get excited about the opportunity to be here and be present, we can do something amazing, right? You, me, everybody can learn to be more present, that we could give our present to the world. Maybe that's why it's called the present, because it's the greatest present, the greatest gift you can give yourself. I just said this in our elite broadcast uh, before, and I have to just say this uh, to everyone here. You know, I was thinking about what is the best gift I can give the people that gave me life, the people who have helped me, my parents, my friends, my family, my wife. The best gift is to give a life that works, to give my life that works as well as it could do. It could always work better and give that to other people. And a life that works is a life where you are present in the life that you're giving. You see, we've all got more time than we think we have. It's just what we do with the time that we have. And that's what I'd like all of you to think about today. Don't think about it too much. Just become more aware. There used to be an advert many years ago for a margarine. I think it was called cooking. And you, you had some food that had cooking in it. And all of a sudden, it would lift you up. Don't eat margarine, by the way. Um, but that's another conversation. That you get lifted up. And then you can look over what's going on. And if you come up and you look down, and this is what coaching is. This is what coaching is. And by the way, look at this. So you love this. This is signifying the next 365 days of you becoming an elite member and you working with a world-class coach for 365 days. Just imagine what a year would look like. One year of you going to work on yourself. <gasps> if you're not excited by that, I don't know what will excite you. So here you are. Look, this is you having some cooking, right? Being lifted up. That pen doesn't work. These are all pretty. There's you, right? This is what you do. You lift up. And you observe, you observe you like this. This is the happy you looking down at you. This one you who's realizing, wow, actually you, on, you guys on Instagram can't see this very well. This is the time, right? This is how we live our life, right? We live our life. And I want you to start becoming more aware of what are you doing? How much time are you spending being distracted? How much time are you spending thinking about, the future, making, you know, a scary movie of everything. How much time and how much time could you start bringing uh, a sword to where you are to start bringing yourself back into the moment? You have that power. Whether you use that power or not is entirely up to you. Who's excited right now? Who thinks, yeah, this is interesting. But you see, what's happened, as we know, for most of us, is we want this done for us. Give me an app. 
Give me, uh, give me, let me just make a phone call and let someone else do this for me. No one else can do this for you, my friends, but you can. You can. You can take control of your mind, your body, and your soul. Oh, and become a superhero in your own life. You see, it's so interesting. And again, let this look. Here's another key word, right? Curious, right? Curious. Become curious like you never have done before. Curiosity is this amazement of becoming just interested. See, Pete, people say, Pete, what's, what's the number one tip? What's your number one tip? Give me that number one tip. Give me something I can do. Well, I have many tips and tools and techniques. One is the sword. Imagine the sword. Who's got the sword in their hand? When you realize that you were looking at something on YouTube and then all of a sudden you start looking at something else and then you start looking at something else and you think you've got to start taking ownership of that and bring yourself back to the moment. I'm absolutely delighted that someone has just joined us on Instagram who is someone I've had the privilege of knowing. I met him in a lobby in Orlando and he's a great example. This is a man who's the just became came eighth in the um, the world championships of uh, triathlon in Hawaii. And he knows, probably just like anyone else, that he has to be in the moment. As an athlete, if you start thinking ahead, you give your energy to the future and you don't give your energy to the now. So if you think, well, how does one conquer procrastination how does one conquer chaos inside your own mind bring your focus of attention to the moment use the sword the sword of i'm not where i need to be and this is what we're going to be looking at tomorrow and the next day and the day after is to learn to be able to just deal with what is right in front of you right in front of you People say to me, they ask me about the mind. This is something I learned from my coach. What does the mind do? What does your mind do? I don't know everyone's minds, but I know a lot of people's minds. And this is what your mind does. It plays tricks on you. It plays tricks on you. And again, using this analogy where you start to see how you are moving through the world and see where you're going with your mind and realize who is in control of your mind. Who has the control? You have the control. It's time to take that back and to realize your mind is just a channel. It will go where you put it. But if you don't consciously put it somewhere, it will go where it's been before. And I'm like, I like Star Trek. I don't know how many of you have ever watched Star Trek. One of the, the key things they always said in all of this series is just to boldly go where no man has gone before. Let's go where we haven't been before. Let's be brighter stronger more powerful let's experiment let's get excited but it all starts off with our mind and this is where i want to wrap up today and i want everyone to listen very very carefully uh, to what i'm going to say this is all very this is all great but what brings it to life is kind of knowing what it is that you want and if you ask most people, what do you want? They'll tell you what they don't want. They say, I just don't want to be miserable. I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be fat. I don't want to be unhappy. I don't want to be stressed. Rather than saying, no, this is what I want. And when you start to become more aware of what you want, then all of a sudden, the energy to move you in that direction comes. And as Napoleon Hill said in Think and Grow Rich, he reckoned only 2% of people really do know what they want. And you think, well, why do they not know where they, what they want? Well, the reason they don't know what they want is because they haven't got it. Because they haven't got it, they don't think they can get it. But this is the great thing. You can use your mind to scare you and worry you, or you can use your mind to think, this is what I want. This is what I want so much. But then bring your mind to today. And yesterday, uh, someone who I spent two years of my, li my life working with, five-time snooker world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan, who won yesterday a tournament at the age of uh, 41, looking as young as ever. This is what we worked on for a long time. How much do you want to win? If you want something enough, you've got to pay the ultimate price of wanting it, which is to forget about it and get lost in the process, the process of now what needs to be done.
Write that down, my friends. Now, what needs to be done? Join me tomorrow for day two, and we'll start looking at some specific techniques to help you become a time warrior. But today, think about that sword, that sword in your hand of being able to realize where you're too far in the future, worrying, creating mental movies that would scare someone if they saw it, and think, no, I'm coming back to now. I'm coming back to today. And also recognize where your mind is going to places where all of a sudden you're not here anymore. You're going somewhere that you didn't really want to go. We live in a world that wants to take your attention from where it, from, away from where it is. So finally, we've been doing this for two years uh, for free, and it all changes. This Thursday, we close the door. I'm only going to be broadcasting to the public once a week on a Monday, a live broadcast. Every other day is for elite. Those of you that are elite, just tell people here why they should become elite. What is elite about for you? I'll tell you what it's about for me. It's about working with a select group of people that want to invest in themselves of 20 pounds a month to have access to the greatest material I've ever put together, have access to a world-class coach, which is me, and have access to an unbelievable community of people just like you and me. Now, I don't know whether you're the sort of person that would walk around a swimming pool and dip their toe in, or whether you're the sort of person that would just dive in and give it your all. What we've created with My365 Elite is a whole series of masterclasses. Uh, and a lot of these masterclasses, our members weren't really engaging with them because we were doing live broadcasts, and it was like, well, I don't know what to watch. We are so excited because we are going to bring those masterclasses to life for you. That over the period of 365 days, which is what this represents, we're going to start creating evidence, 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 evidence of your greatness. As we spend a month working on a number of different areas, we're going to spend a month working on mindfulness. We're going to spend a month working on willpower. We're going to spend a month working on breaking the habits that have held you back. We're going to spend a month working on you becoming the leader in your own life. Uh, for me, and much, much more. The first uh, two months, we're going to be working on a masterclass that we launch next week called Up grade your life. Just like your phone or your computer, there's uh, there's a software up there, update. Many of us ignore those, but eventually we just do it. Now you've got an, up, an opportunity to upgrade your software. You've got the hardware. Let's change the software that's running inside so you can run more effectively more of the time. Uh, take advantage of Leap because I promise you this, on Thursday night when we close the doors, that's it. It's not going to be the same price ever, ever, ever again. Uh, what some people have created here is unbelievable. So take advantage of that. Uh, and every night this week, we are going to uh, be have some special broadcasts for everyone as we can share some of the stories of the great success that people have had. Thank you so much uh, for being here. It's time to use that sword. Remember, it's all an experiment. It's all an experiment. Have an amazing day. Look, Yvonne Taylor's been here for 589 days of journaling. The best is yet to come. We have to invest in our futures. And I don't just mean invest in terms of money. I'm talking about investing in terms of your energy and putting your energy into things that will bring about greatness, that will bring about a life of significance, a life of meaning, a life that you are proud of. And it doesn't matter how old you are, what you, it doesn't matter. There's my friend from New Jersey who was right here, right in the beginning. Good to see you, Paul. Good to see you all. You make this place what it is. It is incredible. So are you. Let me make a quick summary. Goodbye, Instagrammers. Much love to all. And uh, the people that are on our weight loss challenge, uh, I will see you guys in 10 minutes. Here we go. We ready? Let's turn the camera around. And here we go. That was the end of uh, day one. Thank you very much for everyone that showed up here uh, today. This is about you becoming a time warrior. So today, take your sword out and realize when you're in the future and it's not a productive place, bring your back self back to the moment. See you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Much love to all. Become elite. Become elite. Take advantage. We'll see you soon. And uh, make it an awesome day. Ta-ta for now. TTFM, I think it is, isn't it?